Thank you. Thousands will apply for Miss Universe Great Britain. Um, then we do an online selection and we get that down to probably about 100 girls. The online selection is pretty, pretty ruthless. You know, Miss Universe ultimately, and Miss Universe Great Britain, they're a role model for many, many young women. Um, and so they have to do things, you know, and present themselves in, in a certain way, like, like any role model, and that's what I'm looking for. So that online application is very, very important. And then there's the interview stage, um, and we, you know, we, we talk to the girls, we meet the girls personally, and uh, select from there. I mean, I can, I can completely understand why somebody who doesn't really know about pageants can sort of look from the outside and they see you know just the end result of you know mm. girls of course everybody is beautiful and, and they're in the dresses but I think when you actually know more about the pageants you realize it's such a great celebration of women you know it's empowering it's definitely not derogatory we're all here because we want to be because we all enjoy Absolutely. it and there's so much more than just you know what you're gonna wear and, and the hair as you said is the charity aspect of it you know we're raising mm. a, a really really great amount for charity and also it's just about your own self-development it's about coming together feeling empowered and confident enough to put yourself forward for something that you want and I think you know win the title or lose it's great to come to something like this and just feel like you did it and you've achieved a goal <laughs> There's no crime in being beautiful. We all have different uh, qualities and strengths. And for one girl, maybe beauty is one of hers. And I don't see why she should sort of like hide under a bushel. She should be able to so celebrate that. I think we'd be very naive to think, you know, pageantry is the only place beauty celebrated. If you walk down the high street, every shop that has a makeup counter, every store that sells clothes, is celebrating the aesthetics and we're just doing it in a different way and the great thing about pageantry is that it is quite open you'll see in there girls of different heights of different body sizes different shapes different skin colors it's very very open inner beauty is very focused on these days and you've actually seen it with the Miss World organization removing mm -hmm. the bikini section as well as Miss America yeah. Um, and so they are solely focusing on everything but looks, actually. Mm -hmm. Even um, Gretchen Carlson said that her pageant, the Miss America pageant, will be focused on who you are as a person and they're going to give scholarships. So they're focusing a lot on education. So I do think the pageant world is changing in that sense. Charlotte. Give Charlotte a round of applause. I'm going to ask I'm going to try and push your arm down to your okay. side and you've got to resist me, okay? Right. Okay, so you're going to be pushing back. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. I'm pretty strong, man. No? I'm pretty strong. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. You ready? Resist me. Oh. Resist me. Yeah. Now I wanted to think about, not too traumatic, but um, a negative memory. It didn't quite work out. That's it, a little more acid. Now I want you to try and resist me again this time, right? Try and resist me again. Give Charlotte all the we all walk around naked, maybe the world would be a healthier place, but there, there's so much discussion about women's bodies and you know, we're all we're all born with a body, you with yours, mine with mine. And why shouldn't you be able to show some of it, part of it, or all of it? And so I will always support the bikini element of the competition. These girls work really, really hard. You know, they're up at four or five a.m. in the morning. You know, throwing tires around mm -hmm. um, in the gym and running miles. And I'm lying in bed, and that's why they look like they do, and I look like I do. It's not what necessarily they were they're just sort of given. It's what they've earned, and I think credit to them. They're proud of what they've achieved. The point of swimwear is to show dedication and also it's power, the power in you to train yourself, to discipline yourself, to get yourself to the gym, to make yourself the best version of you and to have a great body. And yeah, be proud of yourself and have confidence. No matter if you're size zero, you're size 12, 14, it really doesn't matter. If you are happy and confident within yourself, it doesn't matter. I think it's one of our favourite rounds. Yeah. And yeah, we all work really hard and we're all different shapes and sizes and it's just 
celebrating you too, and that's all what it is. Yeah. And you've worked hard to achieve the body yeah. that you've got, and you want to celebrate yourself. Yeah. It's a celebration. It's exactly that. I completely yeah. agree. It's embracing yourself yeah. and yeah. celebrating what you are as a person. I think yeah. nowadays social media puts across this whole thing of yeah. having to look like a certain person. Yeah. Yeah. No, you have to embrace who you are. So by standing up on that stage in a bikini, you're saying, this hell, me. this is me. Yeah. You know? I'm here, Princess Rogers. I'm beautiful, I'm sexy, I'm amazing. I am what they're looking for. I am Miss Universe. I'm useful, I'm sexy, I'm amazing, 